Hi, boys and girls. Uh, thanks for joining me yesterday when we read the book, Me, Jane, a short biography about Jane Goodall. I just wanted to let you know that I wanted to continue this because I really enjoy learning about her and I enjoyed that she had such a passion about chimpanzees and she was one of the first um, researchers to study and research chimpanzees and live with them as well. So today I have, I think you can see my screen, it's called Chimpanzees, it's a nonfiction text. Um, I know it's nonfiction because I can see a real image of a chimpanzee on my screen and not a drawing. The author's purpose is to inform, they're gonna inform us about some facts about chimpanzees. So I would like you to relax and enjoy our nonfiction passage. Uh, here's our table of contents. Our table of contents shows the parts of our text in a specific order. Uh, it has lots of page numbers on it and it tells what you'll be learning in each section. So on um, page one, we'll learn about chimpanzees. Page two will be their habitat, where they live. Three, caring for their young. Four, baby chimps. Page five, moving along. Page six, mealtime. Page seven, we'll learn some interesting facts. And eight will be our glossary, and we'll talk about that as well. All right, on page one, chimpanzees. This is a nonfiction text, so we're getting information, we're learning. Um, up here, up here, you'll notice that there's a heading. So the heading tells us what the passage below will be about. Did you know that chimpanzees are not monkeys? I will say I did not know that. In fact, chimpanzees belong in the ape family. Monkeys have tails, but apes do not. So if you're ever wondering if you're looking at an ape or a monkey, look for a tail. Next time you go to the zoo, you can look at that. And here's a, a mama and the baby. Habitat is where they live. Chimpanzees live throughout the African rainforests, woodlands, and grasslands. There was once millions of chimpanzees living throughout Africa. Here's a picture of the continent of Africa. Now they are endangered species with less than 300,000 left living today. Caring for their young. Female chimpanzees normally have their first baby by the time they are 14 years old. The infants are very dependent on their mother for milk, protection, and food. Young chimps stay with their mother for at least five years, but some stay with their mothers for their entire life. Female chimps can have between four to six babies in her lifetime, but they normally only give birth to one chimp at a time. Oh, look at this cute little baby chimp right here. He looks a lot smaller. Our next heading is baby chimps. <coughs> Excuse me. Baby chimpanzees can begin sitting up on their own at five months old and stand with support at six months old. Baby chimps sleep with their mother for a few years until they become independent. Do you know what independent means? Until they become independent. Oh, that's cute. Moving along. Although chimpanzees normally walk on all fours, they are capable, capable, I bet that means able to do, they are capable of standing on two feet and walking upright. How would you feel if you saw a chimpanzee standing on two legs walking towards you? They are also able to swing from branch to branch where they do most of their eating. When it's time to sleep, the chimps will find a safe spot in the trees. Meal time. Chimpanzees are fruit and plant eaters most of the time, but they will also consume, what do you think consume means? Insects, eggs, and meat. They have a diet that consists of a variety of foods. In fact, chimps are one of the few animals that use tools to find and prepare their food. They may use sticks to dig insects out of logs, or use stones to smash open a tasty nut. Chimps will also help each other to find food. Think about tools that your parents use in the kitchen to help them prepare food. Do you have a garden in the, your backyard? 
do you use special tools to help with that garden and that food? Here are some interesting facts. Oh my gosh, I can tell by their facial expressions. It looks like they're laughing and maybe having a good time. I wonder what they're, I wonder what they're communicating about. In the wild, chimpanzees live in large groups of 15 to 120 members. Could you imagine living with 120 family members? You would need a very large house. Chimps communicate through noises they make, hand gestures and facial expressions. Some chimps have been taught how to use sign language. Hey Christopher, that makes me think of you. Because I know your mom knows sign language. Chimps have 32 teeth. They are not able to swim even though they live near water. That's something new. So they would not have a pool if they moved to Arizona. Chimps can live for more than 50 years. And here is our glossary. A glossary, oh my gosh, he looks like he's doing some hard thinking. A glossary you find typically in nonfiction texts. Um, it has specific words to the, that are related to the text. They're listed in alphabetical order, um, along with their definitions, because it might be vocabulary that you're unsure about. So in our glossary, we have consume. Oh, remember I asked you about that? Consume means to eat or drink, and you can find consume, the vocabulary word, on page six. Endangered. Endangered means seriously at risk for extinction. Extinction. And that word is found on page two. Facial expressions. Communicating by making different faces. Hmm. And I know in class we talked about the different ways that people communicate with one another um, through body language, facial expressions, tone, and words. Independent. Being able to live on your own and sign language, communicating using hand signals. So if we wanted to relook at any of these words and reread them in the context with which they were used, you could find the page numbers right down here next to the, uh, the definition. Now, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed learning part two of chimpanzees and a little bit more information about them. I will send a separate email to your parents that has a quick animal research project. So if you would like to um, go ahead and pick one of the animals that I have listed on our packet, you can do a really quick research project and share it with us. I think that would be really neat. And we can channel our, channel our inner Jane Goodall and do our part to learn a little bit more about a specific species. All right, boys and girls. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And let me know if you have any questions.